Hello, my name is Brooke Sidney. I am a mindset, mindfulness, and manifestation coach, and I specialize in helping you love yourself and your life better. Today, I wanted to talk about one of the main reasons you have not seen your manifestation, and that is, is that you are still keeping it apart from you. Yes. What does that mean? So oftentimes I've discovered both in my personal practice, as well as with clients, is that we start holding our manifestation apart from ourselves by the way that we truly think about it and talk about it. Let me start with part one, how we think about it. As long as we are still thinking about whatever it is we want to manifest, be it money, be it a new job, be it a new home, or our SP and that specific person, whenever we are thinking about that desire as being coming or not just here yet, or we continue to check the 3D for it, we're basically showing that we don't actually believe that we have it. We're not living in the end. We don't have our manifestation. And so in essence, by the very fact that we're focusing on the fact that we don't have it, it's pushing it away from us. The second part about it, which goes hand in hand with it, is that unfortunately, you're still talking about it as if it's coming. It's not here yet. When it comes, instead of it's happening, it's here. I love the fact that I have my love. I love the fact that I have all this money in my bank account. I love the fact that I got a new job. I love the fact that the house, um, I just closed on it. All of those things are in the present tense. We're talking about them as if we have them already. Not like, oh, I hope it comes or when it comes or my new boyfriend is on its way. My new man is coming. My new love is going to happen. All of those things put it in the future. They don't put your desire or your manifestation in the now. And as Neville Goddard says, you have to live in the end. So anytime that you are not in the end, then you're pushing your manifestation away from you and you have not fully cemented within your heart of heart and beliefs that you can truly have it and you haven't experienced the feeling of have it inside of you. So make sure you are following, make sure you hit subscribe because I'll be talking more and more about the power of getting into the feeling of living in the end um, and how to use our amazing God-given imagination to help us manifest all that we want in life. So make sure you're following me and I'll talk with you soon.